my name is Lun and today we're gonna play a game that called Find Love or Die Trying. I'm gonna continue from our last video so yeah. We have to pick someone in here. So what do you think? I'm gonna pick You know, pick Tara. Tara. All right, all was cut out for us. Please, people, you know where to put Tara. Yes, mom. Give us a minute to set up the things, then go find her. I walked closer and closer to the game room. I could hear people screaming bloody murder. Help! You're not going anywhere. What? Take him. I'm too young to die. What? I lost inside as fast as I could. Oh, I see. What kind of brother would sacrifice his own flesh and blood to survive? Life is touched by the cup. No, no! I will save you, bro. Bro? Ah! It's the hero that dies first, you know. Bro! Where was I? Oh, right! One down, two to go! Get over here! They were playing a fighting video game! Oh, stop, Ruin! Give me a second! Got to do a bit of peace! Control. Two and three kill him first. <gasps> so cute. All right, all right. You are lost. Fair and square. As promised, you guys know what you have to do. The brother five gone as they each put on some kind of futuristic helmet. Hmm. I see. You're incredible, Terra. You dismantle the skies without breaking a sweat. I do make a living to this. Believe it or not. Too lately. It's been a little boring. Why is that? It's just same old. Same old, you know. So I do have something new to install if you doubt. And doubt? Hmm. Why not? Sure, why not? Good. I'm just gonna need you to put on this non sufficient at all here. Tara pick up Tara pick up a helmet from behind the couch and place it on my head. This one hurt a bit, don't worry. Wait, why you I was like gliding along 
through my hair. Oh, we are. If we are headed, um, in some kind of forest. Whoa, whoa, Rune, you're here too. What? Where are we? I want to go home. Oh, stop raining. You are just in a video game. Come on. This isn't the first time you have seen this happen in fiction. What kind of thing is this now? It's been around for at least a million years by now. Get away the time. Alright, last time I checked, I never heard anything like this. Alright, alright, so maybe it was some kind of weird device I never seen before. Can you blame me for wanting to try messing with it? Well, that's no way. That could be a game. It looks too real. I had to admit, I had my job too. Everything looks as well if it was really there. Hey, if you want proof, we're just walking outside of this forest. Two took a few cautions, step forward, then some more. Oh, oof! We smack against some kind of visible wall, invisible wall. Th there is some kind of invisible wall here. It's really a video game, huh? Actually, the wall of the game room. Thought this console would be like deep dive, sort of visual reality video games too. But it seems like everything we do here is duplicated in the real world. Walk too many steps is curtain ways and smart. Doesn't that make this kind of useless? I guess if you are already going to find the song of the intercom praying to the forest. Hey, can you guys hear me? Cat, we can hear you. What's up? You guys need to log out of that game right now. If you are in the game too long, it will fry your bed. What? How? Why? A uh, long story short. It's an experimental, how to say, game console that we had in storage. No idea how terrifying it to. So, this show is always trying to find new ways to kill me, isn't it? How much time do we have? This boy fries your brain. Don't know. Maybe a few minutes, maybe several hours, but it will slowly stop your sanity the longer you are here. Just log out already. We don't know how. The brother, five, and I look around frantically, but there wasn't any way for us to log out. Oh, I don't think you guys can see the logout menu. I think it is an admin only kind of thing. If you can't see it, Terra, then come on, log us out already. She's clapped like a B-movie manic. Something tells me that she didn't have much energy to stop in the first place. But I be such a sham to live so soon. Let's play a game first. It just so happens 
this F and F mean I can change all of you all the time. At will. Check this out. BAM! I look down to my hand. Push had now become tiny little white wings. I look down at my face and I have a beak. I I become a bird. Oh oh gosh! What did she do to us? We are pigeons. Let me out. We now become accountants now. We are going to die here. I think I have got a new fetish. The pigeon five ran around practically like a chicken with their heads cut off. I can't believe I can't blame them. I look up to Terra, who seems like a giant compared to us. Now, now I'm sure you are wondering why I turned you all to bird. I guess you could say that if funny around earlier you told me that this world show was like was like a dating sim, except that you were in the driving seat. Now. The show is on Diana or the foot. She cracked me again like a wet wish. Welcome to Vision Dating Sim. Back to Royal. You have to suggest me if you want to get out of here. What? Which each day the path fair more for humanity's future? And you want us to be pigeons for this? Uh, I mean, yeah. The radio of human to pigeon. The channel will is totally out of whack, man. I figure we should balance that out. I am trapped in a killer virtual reality game. I am also trapped on a killer dating show. To make matters worse, I am also trapped in a body of a pigeon. Now I need to settle some women with my own charm. You can't imagine the kind of stress I am under. Now seduce me. One by one, the pigeon five, five pick up line after pick up line at Terra, but it's too no elbow. Come on, come on, move those wings. What you mean it? I try my hand at the field too, but it was clear they had no effect. I can't imagine that being a pigeon help with that in any way. Hmm, let's try one more. How about... Oh, I see. Damn, damn so. Uh. Damn girl, you are looking so fine. When my will to life at an old time low, why? The game went dark. A moment later, we are back in the game room. What? We, we are back! Thanks, God. I've got fingers. I can write. I could fill up a barren sheet. Oh. 
Just when it was getting good. Wait, if something burning, the game console has the smoke coming out of it. Yes, it's cold. What? What happened? My mind is foggy. You okay, Tara? I'm going to take a nap. He jumped on the couch and within seconds was fast asleep. Fast asleep. The brother five and I decided to that it would be best to never talk about this again. I stumbled back to my room and popped in onto my bed. I was just about to close my eyes when I heard a knock at the door. I said, "Knock over in my head." Hey there, Rune. Sorry to bother you this late. It's all right. What's up, cat? Don't mind me. Just gonna make myself real comfortable. Cat walked by me and comfortably sent herself on my bed. Oh my gosh! You have no idea how much better your bed are compared to the stuff. You would think the one actually working here would get treated nicely. I closed the door, then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. I'm guessing you are not coming to my room at night to start a workers' union. I wonder, what would you want me to come to your room for instead? You can't think of real things. You think five women would be enough for people? You are incorrigible, Noon. Anyways, as a producer, I'm obliged to help you survive until the end of the show. Just until the end of the show, I'm heartbroken. Being your best sitter, paying well enough to make it a long-term stick. I will be checking in with you each night to let you know how you are doing and give you some advice here and there. That's nice of you. Thanks, Cat. Well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be a recurring nightmare. Back to the topic, our oh, audience really love your date with Tara today. Honestly, I have got no idea what to say about your date today with Tara, except. But I am surprised anyone thought it was a good one. Can I really be picky when my life's on the line? I guess not. That's it. I'm hoping we can sprinkle a little more drama into this show. More romance, love triangles, and less hidden. So tomorrow, I want you to find who you are and our other soulmate candidates, and ask them out on a date. Ah, all right, all right. I'd rather go on a second date with Tara tomorrow. I get that it would be better for ladies to date somebody else, but. I like what I have with Tara so far. I don't want to give her the wrong idea. This early on, you know. I understand that. Really, I do. But really, it's out of our hands. What do you mean? Look, 
in a perfect world, you'll be able to do just that. But if you do that, the show of ladings won't be high enough. And how's that my concern? If the show of ladings aren't high enough, they'll just ask the show before the last day. And it will be treated as you as if you didn't end up with anyone at the end. If you clashed, my dear. Ah. I get why you wouldn't want to, but that actually was the last person in your show did. And they are not allowed to tell you about how it went in you anymore. Alright, I will ask somebody else tomorrow. Can you at least explain why I have to do this to Tara? You already know the answer to that, Rune. Would that be good for a lady? Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you before tomorrow. It's getting red. And we are both get big days tomorrow. How about we call you the night? Sounds good to me. If you want anything, sorry. I will see you tomorrow. Good night, Rune. Good night, cat. She left my room closing my door behind her. I went back to raring on my bed and closed my eyes. I kept thinking about Tara before I slept. The sound of wheels crashing against the shore. Hey. Hmm? I can't hear a woman's voice call out to me within a dream. You probably can't hear me in there, but... I try to respond, but no words come out. Rune, promise me one thing. Don't forget. Don't you dare forget. You promise. Promise are unbreakable, right? That's what you told me. You promise, but you lied, didn't you? What promise? Wait, what? We kick off all morning with a delicious meal made by Violet. So, tell us more about your dream, Tara. Uh, I don't really remember much, but I was in a video game and I was getting hit by a lot of pigeons. Uh, how am I supposed to respond that? What if it was a sign? Uh, I'm sorry? What? If it was a dream? Nothing more. I don't see how... Ari had a stylish grin on her face. Ah! I think it's a sign, Tara! It's a sign that you should try making video games! The world needs more pigeon setting them. You are right. There's no time to wait. Terror runs off. Ran off. Oh my, are you certain that was a good idea to put her on? Of course. Seriously, what's the world? That could happen. I feel like a shell ran down my spine.
Oh, there, there you are, Rune. I have been looking for you. It's time to decide who's your other soulmate candidate. You remember what we discussed yesterday, right? Uh, how could I forget? It's not like I ever forget anything important before, except for, well, everything. First, the snack of whichever pockets you end up seeing today. Oh, that's strange. It be just between your two soulmate candidates from here on out. So, choose wisely. But what, really? So, if we don't get chosen, what are we supposed to do? Well, for the starters, we are in a tropical paradise. Think of it as a vacation. So much unreal anyways, so it's not a big deal. They are not a real? Oh boy, Rune. You might want to pick your second soulmate candidate quick. Wait a, wait a minute, Kat. Will we be spreading up the group after today? No, don't worry. You will be able to hang out together. And who knows where that will go in. Well, good to know my battle plans. Will we? They'll come in handy. <clears throat> you mean friendship plans? Good to know. I still get to see my new friends. Yes, sir. So, without further ado, Rune, who's the unlucky girl? I like to spend some time today with. Okay, so that's all for today. See ya, have a nice day. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel also, it's completely free. And if you have um, a little more money, you can donate me also. Have a nice day. Adios.